if 8 raised to the x power is equal to 4 and 27 raised to the 2x minus 3y power is equal to 9, find y. This is the first case where we have had both x and y appear in the same equation. So what we want to do is we want to probably solve this first equation for x, plug that x value into the second equation, and solve for y, which is what we want to find. So let's start with this first equation. Notice on each side of this equation, you have different bases. 8 to the x power is equal to 4 to the first power. It'd be nice if they were written in terms of the same base, and you can do that here. You know that 8 is a power of 2, 2 to the third power. And you know that 4 is 2 squared. So using one of the laws of exponents, you can write this as 2 to the 3x power. Those two powers multiply is equal to 2 squared. Well, if you have 2 raised to this power is equal to 2 raised to that power, then 3x is equal to 2. And the way you solve that equation is you just divide both sides by 3. When you decide, divide the left-hand side by 3, you get x. When you divide the right-hand side by 3, you get 2 thirds. So that's the solution to this equation. And eventually, that x equals 2 thirds will get plugged into this equation as we're solving for y. So this equation is 27 to the 2x minus 3y is equal to 9. And once again, we have the same problem. We have a different base on the left-hand side than we do on the right-hand side. So recognizing that both of these are powers of 3, 27 can be written as 3 cubed raised to the 2x minus 3y power and 9 can be written as 3 squared. Once again, we can multiply these two powers, and when you do that, you get 3 raised to the 6x minus 9y power is equal to 3 squared. We now have the same base here as here, which means this power must be equal to this power, and that's going to be 6x minus 9y is equal to 2. When you plug, this seems like the right time to plug the 2 thirds in here for x, you will have 6 multiplied by 2 thirds minus 9y is equal to 2. When you multiply 6 times 2 thirds, that's 12 thirds, which is the same as 4 minus 9y is equal to 2. The way you solve this equation for y is you subtract 4 from both sides. When you subtract 4 from the left-hand side, you get just negative 9y. When you subtract 4 from the right-hand side, you get negative 2. The way you solve that equation is you divide both sides by negative 9. When you divide the left-hand side by negative 9, you get y. When you divide the right-hand side by negative 9, you get 2 ninths. And y equals 2 ninths is the y value that solves both of these equations.